Hi everyone, hi friends, hi family, how are you all doing? Alright, 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 alright. Let me dive into the topic of today, the odd topic of today, which is how to read and understand coming from a second class upper student. Alright, so um I'm a second class upper student, actually a strong second class upper student because I'm currently in four point something something four point two something something so I'm a second class student and I've always aspired to like be a first class student which I'm still aspiring to be but I know that in my own even in my own level um some of my course mates are you know even aspiring to <laughs> reach the level that I am because it has not been easy right from 100 level down to 400 level that I'm current that I currently am <laughs> it has not been easy and some people will be like teach me this teach me that teach me that and I'll be like I'm not even a first class student remember there's only one first class student we have in the whole of industrial chemistry um my discipline is industrial chemistry I'm not yet a graduate, I'm almost a graduate, semi-graduate, so, and they will be like, I should teach them um, how to read and understand, so, and, funnily enough, the funniest thing is that, when I was, like, reminiscing on what to use as the title, and all that, the Holy Spirit ministered to me that, you are, I've blessed you with this second class upper. Why not? You know, why not? Uh, uh, don't be selfish with it. Why not share for the world? Why not share with everyone how you were able to achieve this and, you know, teach people how to read and understand? So I felt it was a nice topic. I did not see the topic from anywhere. I did not copy the topic from anywhere. I didn't snatch the topic from anywhere. The Holy Spirit just gave me the inspiration of the topic, and who am I to disobey? <laughs> who am I to disobey? You know, I'm not a first class student, but I'm a four point student. Like, it's not easy to write four points in a 5.0 scale, it's not easy. So, I would like to um, tell you guys that you too can do it, especially if you are not that academically inclined i believe that you too can achieve this you too can be something or be somebody that others look up to mm? as as i'm speaking now i'm not bragging i'm not making noise i'm currently the a lady the lady because it's only a guy that is writing first class i'm the highest lady is that english correct <laughs> i'm the lady with the highest cgpa in my school and in my discipline so as a lady now it's not easy i'm talking you know i'm speaking for other ladies i'm talking other ladies and they are looking up to me as a lady so and i'm the highest lady even if i'm not i'm not writing first class i'm the highest um lady or the, the lady with the highest cgpa right so let me not waste too much of time I'm going to tell you how you two can read and understand. Um, what I would like to tell you is that it's not only to read, right? You might read and then go to the exam hall and try to pour out something, but your head seems blank, right? It has happened to even me. <laughs> like, there are instances where I will read and I'll be so happy. My head will be hot. Like, I used to take drugs. I used to take a lot of drugs. I would take prasamol. I used to be sick of malaria and everything. Just because I'm reading. Just because I'm reading. And then, when I go to the exam hall, <laughs> the simplest of it, the simplest question of all, I'll find out that I forgot or I, for I, I, I can't really recall. So, it's not only you. Even those that have higher grades are also facing this. So, the first way you can read and understand, as has worked for me, I, I told you earlier that I did not 
research anything i got the inspiration from god to tell you how i live how, how i did mine and i'm talking based on experience so the first way you can read and understand is the first method i tried when i was in my hundred level it really worked for me i wrote first class in my hundred level guy <laughs> i wrote 4.64 in my hundred level and the method i used was reading consistently mm -hmm. there's no magic towards it there's no magic there's no any special thing about that there's no i didn't you know you know i didn't have supernatural brain anybody can do what i did anybody can pass with the method i use so there's no two ways about it i was reading the first day i resumed i re i remember the first day i resumed that we started lecture no we didn't start lecture that first day we didn't start lecture that first day we didn't start lecture that week but the next week we started lecture and i came I attended the lecture and we did just one lecture. Was it Ken one to one? We did Ken one to one. Yeah, I'm an industrial chemistry student. So we did Ken one to one or Ken one or two, something like that. I don't know. One oh one. One oh one or one to one. So I went home and I already knew my courses, like my uh the the, the total course credits I'm offering for that semester. So I wrote them down. They were they were thirteen, thirteen courses. No, sorry, ten courses. They were ten courses. So I wrote them down and I prepared my timetable. Even though we just started one course out of the multiple courses remaining, so I started with one and I wrote my time. I did my timetable and. I did my timetable for um, Monday to Sunday. No, Monday to Saturday. Sunday was a resting day for me because if you are setting your timetable and you are setting it all choked up, you might end up not being consistent with it. So I made the timetable Monday to Saturday. Sunday was always a resting day for me. And then I started reading Chem 1 to 1. That Chem 1 to 1 that we did that day. It was just three pages in the night. Okay, you might not be good at reading in the night. You might be good at reading in the day. For me, I'll, I am good at reading at night. Is it not a reader? Anyways, I'm good at reading at night. So I read, I read those three pages for either an hour or one and a half hours. One and a half hours, one hour, or one and a half hours, or two hours, I don't know. But I read those three pages. I read them, read them. And if you are reading, you'll be reading over, over, and over, and over. Ask yourself questions. Um, I will look for my question book. I will look for it. I don't know. Should I look for it now? I used to like read. I, I used to. I used to write a lot of questions down. Like I used to test myself. This is an example of questions. Like I used to write questions. I used to write a lot of questions. I used to score myself. I used to grade myself. And I, it really worked for me. And I believe it can work for you. If you are reading, right? Set timetable. That's the first way to read and understand. Set your timetable. Set, set a timetable, yes, that you are going to follow. If you can read once one book a day, set it. For me, I used to set two two books a day two books a day before i went to one book and two books one book and two books anything your head can carry if it's three books you can read a day and you have that um luxurious time set it so but for me i do read two books a day for that particular day it was only one course we did so i read that one course and another thing another way is number two ways i said number one set your timetable right Number two, be consistent with it. Mm? It is one thing to set a timetable. It is another thing to follow what you set. Eh? If you set timetable and you <laughs> you can't follow it, that ah, you, you 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 I feel you are not committed. I feel you don't really want to pass your exam, or you don't you, are, you don't really you don't really need that high grade. You don't really need that high grade because um one thing that drives me into Pursuing my goal 
was I needed the high grade, I needed the high score, I needed A's and B's. I do not really have C a lot, but I do have maybe one C sometimes in my results. But it's also a, it's, it's a very good result anyway. So uh, I, I, I was determined, you know, people used to laugh at me, especially my cousin. He would laugh at me that I'm always oppressing them, I'm always doing, I'm always doing this. <laughs> And I was like, no, I'm committed. I'm consistent. Number three, number two, consistency, right? Number three, set alarms. My alarm, it used to disturb the whole neighborhood. If I set alarm here, yeah. <laughs> they will hear in the end of the street. Set alarms, set alarms. Set your reading alarms, yes. Set your reading alarms. If you want to read 12 p.m. in the afternoon, set alarms so that you will not forget. If you want to read in the night, you want to take a nap before you read. Set alarm that will wake you up. Set alarm. That is how to read and understand. Read. Set your timetable. Read consistently. When I say consistently, like my during my time, Monday to Saturday, I was reading, right? And I was resting on Sunday. If you are reading twice a week, make it consistent. If you are reading three times a week, be, do it consistently, right? Do it consistently. And number three, set alarms. I do set alarms, like alarms that will wake me up, alarms that will tell me what to do. Yes, I should set alarms. Number four, create your to-do list. It's part of, it's, it's just like setting alarms. But setting alarms, you are setting alarms for only your reading, right? But your to-do list, you are, you, are, you, are, you are scheduling your day. I have an everyday book. Um, should I show you my everyday book? My everyday book is actually inside. But I have an everyday book that I do follow. Um, it's just like a bucket list or a to-do list that I do per day. So you set alarm and you you you, you set your uh, to-do list or your everyday um, book, and that that's what you'll be following. So like you have scheduled your day. So assuming today is Thursday now, okay, this Thursday I know I will do this, I will do that, I will do that, I will bathe, I will read, I will go out, I will come back, I will cook, and I will read. So I've set my my day for that day so i know that once it's once it's once it's pen down i have to follow it no matter what once it is written down i have no choice but to follow it and that is number four right for now i'll be telling you just five because i don't want this video to be way too long right i don't want this video to be way too long number five i think i've said it i've highlighted it but i've not really talked much on it is set question like Give yourself questions. If you are reading, I believe that number one, you 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 have to jot down, right? Then once you jot down what you are reading, from that thing that you are jotting down, you set question. And if you are reading and you are not jotting down, I feel you are just you are just um, is it is it skimming? They do call it. You are just skimming. You are not really reading. Yes, if you are reading and you are not jotting down, you are just skimming through. A true reader will read and jot down that is how to study honestly honestly speaking that is how to study if you cannot read like that i don't know how else you read because if you are just skimming through how will you even set questions for yourself that's you are that means you are cramming right that means you are cramming you are not really reading maybe my next video i might talk about cramming versus studying something like that i don't know actually i don't know like the lord just gave me this inspiration oh thank you jesus for allowing me to bless a soul right there out there so thank you jesus so i've set five um uh set questions for yourself and if you are, if you are not jotting down there's no way you can set questions for yourself so it's a two-way thing you have to read and jot down once you now jot down from those things you jot down you set questions for for yourself once you set questions for yourself you turn the other page and you follow your question and be writing the answers like okay what is it now you are following the question then you write in a blank page in a blank page the answer and now is this 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 and that so that is how to read and understand i'm still going to talk more on how to read and understand and how to study um study versus cramming cram versus study and i think i should also talk on how to assimilate faster so I, I i i don't know based on what i'm being led to say i'll keep on saying 
anything you want me to talk about you can also drop it in the comment section i'll be so so glad to talk about it from experience guys from experience from experience i'll be so glad to talk about it because i'm there to help a soul out there who am i i was created for a purpose right i was cre god created me for a purpose and if i don't like related to you guys then i'm not doing my job i'm not doing what i'm created to do so you guys should drop it in the comments any any anything you want me to talk about any area you're finding difficult feel free to talk to me about it or drop it in the comment section and i'll be so so glad to talk about it thank you so much and god bless you please like and share this video also subscribe and share turn on the notification bell God bless you. Bye. <laughs>